hi guys welcome back to boost your sales with whatsapp and in this video i'll be explaining to you how to use your whatsapp autoresponder this is absolutely amazing it's it releases you from having to respond aside from your quick replies aside from your greeting messages and away messages this is also a way by which you can create a conversation with your customers without you being there okay so this is absolutely good it helps you communicate to people it helps you if you have multiple messages coming in at the same time you don't have to be responding to everybody one by one one by one okay um the greeting messages and away messages they are just one-time messages but this one you can use it to create a dialogue like a conversation between you and the person okay um the person you'd say they should do this immediately they do that thing it will give them another response so i'll show you later so this is the app it is auto responder for whatsapp the app is not free but i can tell you for for free that the app is worth it it is worth it okay um it's absolutely worth it so you oh, you install it once you install it and this is what the um environment of the app looks like if you're using the app for the first time all this place is going to be blank i have this because i have set up so many auto auto responding messages here so how do you create your own auto messages you click on this green icon here this green plus icon here you click on that plus and um, you type in the message that you expect to receive from the customer so this is the type of messages that most of you send to me. I, Rikayat, my name is so, 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 I would like to join your WhatsApp class. So that message, I'll put it here. And immediately I put it here. I would set, um, I'll set it to similarity match. You can sell it, send it to exact match if you want, but I prefer to send it to similarity match because sometimes you the, the person that you expect to send message to you they might add some things that is not in the message and they'll send it to you you know but if it is similarity match it will still pick that message but if it is exact match any little difference any little changes in that message it will not see it as that message because it is not exact okay so that's why i would advise you that you use similarity match okay um let's let's quickly set up um one so let me let me go to my whatsapp to pick up some messages so uh-huh this is an example of the message that i usually tell people to send to me and um this is where i create those messages i go to google go to google and search for whatsapp auto uh, whatsapp link generator so come to whatsapp link generator and i use this one this wall link so i come to wall link and this is wall link it is totally free you don't have to pay any amount so i put in my phone number here so i put in my phone number and i type in the message i want people to send to me i type it here and i click on generate my wall link so once i click on generate my wall link it will send me a link this is the link you can copy it from here you click on copy here or you long press at the top and copy it okay you can see copy link text you copy it here okay so this is the message i usually send to people this is the message that is usually on my flyer this is the message i usually use on my adverts um maybe i'm running facebook ads instagram ads or whatsapp status whatsapp tv advert this is the link i will give them okay so you can write anything you want your customers to send you here sorry so anything you want your customers to send you you write it here no police would arrest you just put in the exact thing you want them to send you you put it here and i usually ask for their name so i'll write my name is blah 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 i'll put dash 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 sometimes i have to even open a bracket after that dash dash and put put your name here because some people after that they will still not send name <laughs> so if they don't send name how do you know the name that you used to save their whatsapp okay so this is how i generate my own whatsapp link aside from using that short link that i explained to you in the business profile 
this is the best way I like to generate my link because this allows me to generate multiple links at different times. So once I generate the link, I go to my, um, what's it called? My Google Keep. This is Google Keep. This is the notepad that comes with every Google, um, this thing. So I have, I, I paste it. I have some links here. I paste, these are all the content I've created. Um, so you just click on this plus icon and paste the link here. Sorry, I didn't copy the link. So you paste the link here so that subsequently you don't have to be creating multiple links for one particular purpose, but you can create multiple links for different purposes. Okay, so I keep that link there and then um, I go back to my WhatsApp um, autoresponder and I paste the message, that message that I put on the link, I'll put it here. Okay, um, I'll put the message here. Once the message is here, I click on similarity match. Once I click on similarity match, you can see after I've typed in the message, it is now telling me that this is, I should put in the reply I want people to get if they send me that message. So what do I want them to get? I would, I can just say, um, save my number. Once you have, once you are done, type saved. Okay. I can just say type saved. Once I say type saved, it will show me, mm -hmm. Type saved if you have saved my number. So I usually, I would like to bold in this saved so that they will know that that is what they would um, type if they want a response. So once I say type saved if you have saved my number, this is the message you will get. Okay, you can select... Um, the replies you want. I, I don't usually touch this. Sorry. Let's go back. So I don't usually touch this multiple replies. Just leave it as one. Then delay in seconds. How, how many minutes or how many seconds do you want the messages to come in? I, mean, I don't like my messages coming in all at the same time. So I put in like 30 seconds. I put in zero, zero here and I put 30 here. 30 here, 30 seconds. So that's 30 seconds. This side is for minutes and this side is for minutes. This side is for seconds. So you can even use this autoresponder to teach on a group. Okay. So once you put in the trigger words, you just type in all the messages that you want to use to treat, to teach people. Just type everything. Come and type it here. Come and type it here. Yes. You can add another response. You can see, add another response. Click on this plus sign to add response, add, 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 add. So you can add as many messages as you want on each of this column. So that message would send to your customers. So it all depends on how you want it. Okay. So, um, what else? What else? Multiple replies. I don't want that. Um, delay in seconds. I've already talked about that. So I put 30 seconds. So this, you can use this, like I said, you can use it to teach on a group or you can use it to send to individuals. You can use it to teach on a group and you can use it for both. Okay. But you have to be careful with this in case if you are not using it to teach on a group or you go and select both. If there is a group where you are and they mention the trigger word that you have set up here, your, your messages will just keep, it will just keep delivering to that group. So you don't want to be teaching on a group that is not yours or that you don't intend to teach in. So if you want to use this for individuals, you use it for individuals, make sure you are selecting individuals. Okay. Then ignore contacts. These are, you can add some contacts that you don't want them to get these messages. Okay. So this place, I usually leave it blank. I don't, I don't touch it. These are exceptions or conditions. I don't touch it. So once I'm done like this, I click on save because this sub menu, um, yes, this, this sub menu, we can use this to create another message, like the continuation of that first dialogue. So let me show you what I mean from the messages that I have created before. Okay. Um, this is one. So this is the message I wanted them to send to me. You can see, hi, Rukayat, I'm from your Instagram page. I would like to learn what affiliate marketing is all about. 
with this message, I will know that anybody that this link, the link that I copied this message from is only on my Instagram page. That is only where the link is on all my social media pages. So when anybody that anybody clicks on it, I know that they are coming from my Instagram page and I will get this message. And those people are expected to write their name here. So that is why I say you should use similarity match. Don't use exact match. Use similarity match. In case if they add anything to it, it will still trigger that response. It will still trigger your response to them. Okay? So this is my reply message to that particular conversation. You can see here. This is my reply message. It's a pleasure to meet you. I would like to let you know that due to the volume of messages I receive every day, I decided to automate my WhatsApp. Kindly follow the instruction and note that if you don't get a response, please check the spelling of your reply and type in the correct word. I am glad you are here. I am glad you are one of those who are willing to change their financial situation. I am a super affiliate at Expertner and I can help. I can show you the business model that helped me generate two year salary within three months. With and with this, I was able to sack my boss. Kindly save my number as Rika telling me and type saved. You can see. And type saved once you are done, once you have it saved, okay? So, and this message is going to um, all. So, I have this three seconds after they replied my message. That's when this message will deliver, okay? I also have this in three seconds. That's delay time. I've always told you it's always three seconds or, th or 30 seconds, okay? So, this message is going to individuals alone. And I don't have any specific contacts I want it to send to and I don't want to ignore anybody. So all these conditions you can see I did not touch it. I don't usually use this, okay? So uh this place too, I don't I don't I don't tamper with it. So this is the sub menu. So after they have typed saved, what would they get? This is where this sub menu comes in. I click on sub menu and you can see once they type saved, this is what they will get. And it will send them this message with the link to my YouTube page where they can have access to the YouTube video that I've created that will send to them. Okay. So that's basically how to use this WhatsApp autoresponder. It is very, very simple to use. Nothing complicated. So nothing complicated. So this is what I have. This is what I have. You can see that this message is replying to this saved. So once I receive saved this message will automatically go to them so there's no limit to the amount of conversation that you can use this to create as long as the customers are giving you the exact message you want them to reply on which you have already told them then you can use this to respond to them okay so um that's basically it it is not compulsory you tell your customers that your whatsapp is automated it is not compulsory but if you if you want it you can add you can add it okay if you want it you can add it it is not compulsory uh, people usually like to feel that they are communicating to a person and not a robot so it all depends on you so that is one this is another one that i've created hi Rukat. i just paid for the canva pro what's next this link the link that they click on that will bring them to my WhatsApp and send this message is the link that they will get after they have made a payment for my Canva Pro account. Okay, so they will get this. They will send this message to me on WhatsApp automatically. And this is my reply that I'm sending to them. Kindly send me the email you used to open your Canva Pro Canva account. Okay, and they will get that. And that's the end of that conversation. There's no no story. Um. Which of the other one again? This is for people that are coming from my Twitter account. You can see, hi, Rukat. I'm from your Twitter page. I'm from your message. I would like to connect with you on WhatsApp. My name is. So I expect them to put their name. And this message automatically sends to them. And um, I think there's another conversation. Yes. Once they type in saved, yeah, I'll ask them, are you an existing affiliate or a new affiliate? Or you are just you are about to start your affiliate marketing journey so once they tell me they're an existing affiliate i know that they cannot buy the affiliate marketing package from me they are they are either looking for mentorship or something else or if they are a new affiliate i know the message to send to them 
So that is where that conversation ends. You can extend it. You can continue your conversation as you like it. All you have to do is follow this process that I've told you and make sure when you are done, this thing is on. Sorry. This, this toggle, you toggle it on. Once you toggle it on, it will work. And you can also test your autoresponder here by clicking on this bugger icon here, this three minus sign. You click on it and you see test rule. See test rule here. So once you click on test your rule, you put in that message, the message that you expect them to send to you, you put it in and it will show you how the message is going to be delivering, how the person will send the message, what your what autoresponder will send to them. Then you type in the next message and it will, you will see it, how it works. Okay. I'm on the premium account. I've told you this account, this is, um, what's it called? It's, it's, um, it's a paid version. I, I once had the cracked version, but it wasn't working. It was cracked, but it wasn't working. So it is best you pay for the app so that you can use the paid version for this particular purpose. Okay. So this is where you, um, use, you, you change it to premium. Click on this three minus sign, the menu icon, click on the menu icon, then come to the, come to the bottom here. You will see premium. You see, maybe upgrade to premium. So you once you click on it, it will, it will show you how to make payments and you make payments for the app. I can tell you for free that this app has really helped my life. Imagine getting up to 1,000 messages in the space of two to three days. And I have to respond to every person one by one. You know that is draining. But this mess, this autoresponder has really helped me. It has really changed the game for me. There are better autoresponders out there, but this is still the cheapest. <laughs> this is still the cheapest. Um, I think it's about 10,000 error if they've not reduced the amount. It's about 10,000 error. There's another autoresponder called Wamation. Wamation is super amazing. It is just like, um, what's it called? Your email marketing, um, email marketing automation. But Wamation is more expensive than this. And this one is a one-time payment. Wamation is a monthly payment, just like your email marketing sequence. So if you if you are interested in knowing about Wamation as well, let me know so that I can send you the details. Okay? So that's basically it. This is how you set up your autoresponder. And any autoresponder that you set, you see it here. You can always delete anyone that you want. So if I long press on it, you can click on this place and delete it so sorry you can duplicate and if it's not working you can also come here it doesn't work and it will tell you to go and um set up something go to your settings just follow this process go to your settings and you turn all the settings read the process read everything that is here and follow the process that is how you turn it on to make sure that it is working and it will it will work okay once your autoresponder is working you see it you see the icon at the top of your of your this thing this is my autoresponder here this is it here this you can see that's it at the lowest part of the screen okay so that's basically how to use your whatsapp autoresponder um implement this and use it yes use it it is absolutely amazing if you get a lot of messages per day it is best you use it but if you are still you are still at the stage where you get little little messages just be available and reply to your messages by yourself one by one okay so that will be all about this video and i'll see you in the next one